Friends, welcome back. Today I want to teach you how to divide polynomial functions. And we're going to look at this example of 2x squared minus 9x minus 5 being divided by now x minus 5. So what I like to do is I like to reorganize this and use the long division uh, kind of uh, technique to help us out. So take a look. Bam. So now it's written out in long division form. Essentially what's on the right hand side okay, of the division symbol is then outside of your long division symbol. Okay, and what's ever then on the left hand side would be inside. All right, also consider that if this were written in fractional form, this would be your denominator and the denominator then always goes on the outside. So now how do we do this problem out, right? I mean, this looks hard. Um, what we do is we first got to focus on the divisor. You want to locate your highest power uh, of x. All right, this is x to the first. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna figure out how many times does this highest power of x in the divisor fit into the highest power of x in the dividend, okay? In other words, what I'm trying to say is you're gonna take the highest power of x in the dividend, 2x squared, and divide it by then the highest power of x in your divisor, which is x. Now when you do this math, what? how does it work out? Right, you know already this is x squared, this is x, so that's just gonna simplify down to 2x. Good, this is the value you're going to now put in above your long division symbol, okay? So it's gonna be 2x. Now, you have to do that. And by the way, whether you put it here or whether you put it over here, it doesn't really make a difference, okay? It doesn't really matter. You could put it anywhere, all right? Now, what I'm gonna do then next is set up now your parentheses. So subtraction symbol and parentheses. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna now basically do multiplication and then plug in all the, or distrib yeah, you're doing multiplication. You're gonna take 2x, multiply it by this term. Right, so now you have to think 2x times x is going to be what? Well, that's going to be a 2x squared. Okay, 2x squared. Why am I putting it over here? Well, eventually I'm going to subtract these two. So I, that's, you know, I'm, load, I'm lining up now my x values. All right. Then I'm going to take my 2x and multiply it by the negative 5. And that works out to be now a negative 10x. Cool, I lined it up with the x term here because they have the same base, right? And I can subtract or add those. Now there's no other term left here. So that would be basically the same thing as saying x, well, what happened to the top of the five? I chopped its head off. And it would be the same thing as just writing zero there, right? So how many, when you take two x multiply it by zero, what do you get? You get zero, so you can plug in a zero here if you wanted, okay? You don't have to, and you don't have to think that way, but that's basically uh, what you can do. Now. Before you now start subtracting stuff, what I want you to do is now distribute this negative sign to every single term in the parentheses. Just be careful when you have a double negative now, it will turn into a positive, okay? So what I suggest is this now. If you have an eraser, do this in pencil. All you do is erase this and erase this, okay? Everywhere you have a plus sign, erase. Well, don't erase the number though. All right, just erase it. And now plug in negative signs where you don't have anything. And then where your negative sign was, just put a little straight line through it. So plus, okay, that's all you gotta do. So now you're gonna add these terms together or subtract depending upon you know what the operation is. So you got positive two X minus a positive two X. So that, they just cancel, right? That just goes bye bye. Now you can write zero here if you want, but it really doesn't provide any value. So I'm gonna leave it out. Then you're gonna do this addition. So that's gonna be a positive now one X, okay? And then this, obviously, who cares, negative zero, right? It doesn't really make a difference. It's going to be negative five, okay? Now, what, now, we basically repeat the process, okay? We repeat the process. So now this is like my new dividend. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the highest power of x in my divisor and figure out how many times it fits into the highest power of x here in my dividend. So essentially, it's going to be 1x, right? Positive divided by x. And obviously, that works out to just be a positive one, right? So this is what you're now going to place in your quotient on the top. Okay, the positive symbol represents that you're gonna add this one to the two X already. So now, same setup. Okay, once you put your number up here, and I'm gonna get rid of this positive sign right now just because it, I don't know, it's distracting to me at the moment. Um, now what you're gonna do is set up your parentheses, okay? Remember, you're gonna take now this value, and then you're gonna multiply it by the first term there, so one times X is obviously just X, okay? And then you're gonna take the one multiplied by the negative five and obviously that's just negative five. 
Okay. Now what you're going to do is you have to distribute. Remember, before you start doing stuff, you got to distribute this negative uh, sign to each of those terms inside the parentheses. So erase your negative symbol out there in the parentheses. Never erase a negative sign. Okay. Never erase it. Turn the negative sign into a positive, And anywhere you didn't have a sign then, or it was positive, you have to turn it into a negative. Okay. So now cleaning this up and making it look nice, I'm just going to get rid of the one. Right. So what's X minus X? That's simply going to be just zero. And then what's negative five plus five? Oh, that's just zero. And what's zero plus zero? Well, it's nothing. Right. So you have then no remainder. Or in other words, if you were to add right this value, it would be zero over right the X minus five. And that's just a zero. So you don't have to write it. Okay. You might remember that a little bit from long division. So now what I realize is that this is indeed the quotient. This is indeed the answer. This is the function you would get or the uh, polynomial you would get from doing the long division. Okay. Now what I'd like to show you, and you can stop here at the video, but why would you? You love listening to my voice, don't you? So what you can do is uh, check yourself. Okay. I highly suggest you do a little check here and watch it will make sense. So basically what we did over here is we said this, or basically what we're doing over here is we're saying this, this is the numerator. Okay. I'm going to turn this into fractional form two X squared. Now don't, don't click off because I said fraction. All right. I promise they're not scary. So two X squared minus nine X minus five, all then divided by the X minus five. We said now was equal to our quotient. Okay. The two X plus one. Don't you hate these terms? Quotient, divisor, dividend, right? I'm thinking dividend. I'm like, oh, what stock do you own? Dividend, right? Dividends. Anyway, right. Where was I? So now you're going to do a little check. All right. You're going to do a, sorry, I get distracted sometimes. Now you're going to do a little check. Now what I suggest is you make up a number for X and you want to see if this thing works out to be true. I don't care what number you select, but don't choose something that's going to be a little crazy. All right. Try to avoid zeros and ones. All right. Uh, you can use it. It should, it will work out, uh, but just try to avoid that. All right. Um, I'm going to choose that X is going to be equal to, and let me, let me maybe change the color on this. X is going to be equal to two. Okay. So now everywhere I have my X, I'm going to be plugging in a value of two. Okay. So two there squared minus then nine multiplied now by my two. Okay. La di da. Great. And then minus the five all over now X, which was two, right? So where's my, there we go. Two then Minus my hands going numb from going back and forth so many times, but you know, here we go times the two. Okay. Here we go. There, there. Okay. Good. So is this a true math statement? I hope it is. Otherwise we screwed up. Okay. So let's do it. So two squared is going to be four, four times. Then the two over here is going to be an eight. So that's eight minus that nine times two is going to be 18 minus a five. Okay. Minus the five all over now. 2 minus 5 should be a negative 3. And somehow this has to equal now this. 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1 is going to be 5. Okay, here's the moment of truth. Let's start combining these terms, right? So what you can think, you can think of 8 minus 18 should be then a negative 10. A negative 10 minus a 5 should be a negative 15. Negative 15 divided by 3 now, omg -ness is equal to a positive five. Ha, 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 ha. So we are indeed right. Okay. We are indeed correct. And that's all there is to it. So uh, that's one way to check yourself. It just works. Isn't that kind of like magic? It's like, how does this just algorithm here following a series of steps kind of help, you know, us get to the answer? It just works. Just works. All right. There's more to explain. I was thinking about kind of going back to fundamentals on this, but uh, I don't know. I think it's just easier if we kind of understand the process. All right. Um, but guys, thanks for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. If you can, if this video helped you out, like and subscribe. Even better, tell some of your classmates or your friends. We would love to help you with more stuff. We don't only have math. We have a lot of physics and chemistry as well. And we solve specific problems because that's going to be on your test. Problems. We focus on problem solving. Okay. And we have thousands of videos out there. So we should have you covered. Take care.